night, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this glorious, I think it's about 68 degree Sunday, July 10th, 2022, I think, is like what? 70 million people are sweltering in some sort of heat wave up here at Bugs and Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, we had to throw on an extra blanket on the bed last night. And uh, so anyway, guys, you know, I just tired of people acting like all we ever do is moan and groan about doom and gloom. Uh, on Collapse Chronicles. So uh, we really are going to share some hallelujah good news uh, today coming from the mainstream media. And several people have been sending me little snippets of this since uh, Roe versus Wade was overturned since the don't even get me going. On that, you noticed I've been trying to keep my mouth shut about that. Uh, the Roe versus Wade overturn. Because once I get going on that rant, but uh, guys, there's actually some good news coming out of this. A silver lining from Roe versus Wade. As I say, several of you have been keeping me posted from your own hometowns, but I guess who is this has finally picked up on the story in today's mainstream media. Good old Bloomberg is finally, uh, and I don't know if Bloomberg, it sounds to me like this is actually a positive story. I mean, it's the most positive story I have seen. I mean, this is just unbelievably good news. Uh, take it away, Bloomberg, and give us something to celebrate here <clears throat> in the summer of 2022. Something for doomers to celebrate. Why men as young as 23 are choosing vasectomies in post row America. There you go, of course. I was 22 when I chose my vasectomy, even though it was uh, a row America, as it were. I did not need uh, the Supreme Court uh, banning abortions to, to get in a, a vasectomy when I was 22. But anyway, if that's what it takes, you go Supreme Court for getting more young men to line up for vasectomies. <clears throat> Take it away, Bloomberg. Connor Speed never imagined he would be asking for a vasectomy at the age of 23, but after the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, <coughs> he decided to take the plunge. He is frustrated by what he sees as a loss of rights for women in his life. He also wants to avoid unwanted pregnancies. Quote, unfortunately, my fiance and my daughter. So, uh, unfortunately, this young man uh, and his fiance, uh, his now fiance had already let one out of the bag, but uh, anyway, better a little bit late than never, I guess. Unfortunately, my fiance and my daughter now don't have the right to choose what they want to do with their bodies, and I do. So I made this choice, said Speed, who scheduled the procedure in his home state of Missouri five days after the ruling, the High Court's reversal of the 1973 landmark decision protecting the federal right to abortion has sent shockwaves through the medical, legal, and advocacy communities 
Under pressure to respond, the White House said President Joe Biden signed an executive order Friday intended to preserve access to the procedure. Meanwhile, couples have been forced to reconsider how they will safeguard against unwanted pregnancies. Speed is among hundreds of men rushing to book sterilization procedures after the June 24th ruling. In Ohio, where abortions are now prohibited after six weeks into pregnancy, the Cleveland Clinic went from lining up three or four vasectomies per day to 90. Des Moines, Iowa, urologist Esgar Guarin said he typically performs 40 to 50 vasectomies a month. Last weekend alone, 20 men registered. Kushik Shaw of the Austin Urology Institute in Texas said his office received about 70 calls for vasectomies within one hour of the ruling. Many men who had been considering a vasectomy say the verdict was the last straw, according to Tampa, Florida urologist Doug Stein. Weekly requests for the procedure at his practice, at his practice have nearly tripled to about 150. Quote, they want to remain pregnancy free because now you cannot reverse a pregnancy as easily as you could before. Yep. Planned Parenthood, which provides vasectomies in some of its clinics, said web traffic on a page explaining how to receive a sterilization procedure increased over 2,200% in the days following the judgment. Traffic to an article on how to get a vasectomy spiked more than 1,500%. This is Diana Contreras, Planned Parenthood's chief health care officer. Quote, many people are rightfully concerned about their rights and access to sexual and reproductive health care, including but not limited to abortion. Close quote. In a vasectomy, doctors sever the tubes that carry sperm, preventing it from mixing with semen. Dependence on it is not uncommon. In a Center for Disease Control survey published in 2020, 5.6% of women cited vasectomy 5.6% of women cited vasectomy as their contraceptive approach compared with 14% using birth control pills. Uh, while vasectomies are often reversible, success rates range from 30% to 90%. Most women's tubal ligation procedures cannot be reversed and are far more dangerous than male sterilization. Yep. Uh, research published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1992 found that among men who were cancer-free at the start of the study, vasectomy, quote, was associated with reductions in mortality from all causes. There you go. Save your life. Get snipped. Goldstein said he's seen an unusual increase among vasectomies in men who are younger and in childless couples since the ruling. <clears throat> That may also reflect a link between vasectomies and financial dread. Don't you love that term, financial dread? A link between vasectomies 
and financial dread that has been noted as far back as the Great Depression when procedures spiked while reversals dropped. He said, U.S. consumer confidence has fallen to its lowest point since July 2020, according to uh, one of these consumer confidence trackers. <coughs> This is Philip Worthman, urologist at the Center for Male Reproductive Medicine, blah, blah, blah. Quote, whenever we see a downturn in the economy, more people think about having less children. I think it's fewer children. Whether those trends last remains to be seen, said Stein. Quote, my re initial response is that part of this is reactionary. Yes, future legislation and court activity will likely play an important role. Uh, while contraception itself is currently unaffected by the court's June decision, Justice Clarence Thomas suggested that the group reconsider that issue among many other rights-based questions. As those uncertainties mount, Speed said his choice to get a vasectomy has eased a lot of his anxieties about family planning. Quote, I don't regret my decision. I am eager for it. I'm excited. And hopefully, it's not just a decision made in vain. And uh, here is an art, a comment. We have 311 comments. This dude named Humpty Dumpty. Don't know who this Humpty Dumpty fellow is. Uh, <clears throat> I got my vasectomy at age 22 before I let any little kittens out of the bag. I am now 62 and still child-free by choice. Getting a vasectomy was, hands down, the single best lifestyle choice I have ever made in my life, period. I have exactly zero regrets. The number one piece of advice I have for any man, young or old, is to take the snip. You will not regret it. Amen. Whoever you are, Humpty Dumpty. Uh, and there is this other article that came across my radar few days ago. Unfortunately, I didn't flag it, but uh, this one really could be the biggest silver lining in Roe versus Wade. Now, I don't see this happening at all. This is kind of like, you know, they mentioned in here people freaking out that Clarence Thomas and that gang are, you know, those right-wing reactionary jerks are going to start going after other forms of contraception that this uh, abortion thing is going to be the first step in, the, in a very wrong direction. And as the Supreme Court starts playing God, that they uh, you know, might start going after vasectomies and uh, tubal ligations and who the hell knows, birth control pills and condoms. It, you know, who knows where this slippery slope is is heading and of course that will be horrible news but on the flip side I was reading this real weird story I wish I had flagged it talking about the opposite thing and, and that's these uh, I call them natal Nazis these these pro-natalist Nazis uh, talking you know playing God when uh, Mother Nature, God, whoever, has said for whatever reason to a, a couple, a man, a woman, a couple, 
that you are infertile and you have no business having children and people don't want to listen to God and Mother Nature and so they start, you know, fighting to have children by artificial means and particularly, you know, in vitro fertilization and all of these other uh, playing God. And even those people, which, which I find this totally bizarre, even that crowd is freaked out by Roe versus Wade. Uh, that, you know, the Supreme Court, their playing God is going to uh, collide with these these uh, natal Nazis playing God, and the Supreme Court uh, could ban in vitro fertilization. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that would be the single greatest, uh, <laughs> you know, with that, I would be the biggest cheerleader of Roe versus Wade. Uh, if this is the beginning uh, of having uh, in vitro fertilization and all of these other uh, playing God uh, techno utopian ideas to kill the planet with uh, having all these children that you know clearly should never be born. And uh, so now, just like people are going. Uh, out to you know to get more vasectomies uh, you know the clueless morons on the opposite end of the spectrum are trying to rush out and get it is I guess as many of their eggs frozen or, or whatever uh, freaking out but uh, let's only hope if Clarence Thomas and the gang uh, want to play God and outlaw uh, in vitro fertilization, uh, I assure you uh, they have my vote. Uh, politics does make strange bedfellows when Sam Mitchell uh, got his vasectomy at age 22 cheering on uh, the over <laughs> Cla cheering on Clarence Thomas for overturning Roe versus Wade to pave the way for outlawing uh, in vitro fertilization but I'm uh, of course I'm running away with myself it will never happen uh, I honestly don't think uh, I honestly don't think they're gonna take this much farther I, I don't think they're going to start outlawing uh, vasectomies and sterilization and birth control uh, any more than they're going to outlaw the uh, other side of the coin. But you never know, guys. Uh, I wouldn't if, if someone had told me uh, a year ago. Someone had told me one year ago that in the next year Roe versus Wade is going to be overturned. I would have looked at him and rolled my eyes. And, uh, said you're crazy and uh, oh well anyway I have uh, got to get out there and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous Sunday evening in the collapse and uh, we had a little dog we have to go get the ducks in the bed uh, so tomorrow the ducks get released and uh, it could be a duck rodeo tomorrow night me trying to get the ducks back to bed but uh, I gotta head down and get my ducks to bed no you do not get to get the ducks to bed little dog he wants to be the duck herder Sancho Bonzo says he wants to be the the duck rodeo king we'll see you tomorrow night about that. Get all of your ducks in a row while you still can. Bye guys.